back with another long-awaited episode you guys thought we were gone but think again welcome to the third life crisis podcast my name is john michael and i'm joined with the best co-hosts in the world cassie and austin what's going on guys how y'all doing pretty good good today is sunday february 9th and it has been a while as y'all know since we put one of these out we were talking about it and uh, austin what what was the date the last release date the last release was december 9th Two months ago. So December 9th. Wow. Today's February 9th. This probably won't come out till next, next Monday. But March 9th. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're taking the right step. We're taking the right step in the right direction, I think. Um, <laughs> the, no, there's no real plan here is, is, what, it, is what it comes down to. Wow. So, uh, they're, they're in for a good episode then, huh? <laughs> we thought we would do what we always do is get you guys caught up. It's been two months, so there's been a lot going on. Uh, times three in all our lives here. So December 9th was early, but you know, right before Christmas, I was uh, still on leave with the with the, the baby. What were you guys up to? We were just getting ready to go on our break from work. Um, so just still going to work those last couple of weeks. And then we got, what, a week and a half, two weeks off. And we're, we were down in San Antonio to celebrate Christmas. And then we came back up for New Year's. Yeah, so two holidays passed. <laughs> that sounds like... We've been gone for a long time. Two holidays have passed, but yeah, uh, I don't know what what's there to update. I've been uh, been getting the the baby in a, in a schedule. She's on a schedule now with me and and Jessica going to work, so that's a plus. She's sleeping through the night. That's a plus. Been trying to still f- try to find some time for fishing, but no real updates on my side. What about y'all? I think same, right? S- same. Updates? We got the puppies on a schedule. No, <laughs> no, no, we trying to squeeze in true. fishing time. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's fishing not every also weekend. Not true. Nope. Oh, so not the same. Got it. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, Christmas was good. New Year's was good. Um, are we? Not, did you want me to not say that Junior came up and stayed with us? I mean, you can. Okay, Cassie's uh, I well, I guess my nephew too, right? Yeah, um, bitch. By marriage, nephew <laughs> yeah. in law. Nephew in law. Not uh, in law. Why not? What do you mean? Why not? Do you call your aunt and uncle in law aunt and uncle? No. I, I didn't fucking think so. But I also don't call your aunt and uncles my aunt and uncles. Well, you should. <laughs> Do you really? I never thought about that. Do you call? Would you yes, call? Yes, I would sp- call. I would call your uncles, uncle whatever. Hmm. I don't want to just say names on, on the air, but you know. You know, us being Hispanics, no tias and tios. Yeah, but I'm just. I don't think I call any of your aunts and uncles aunt and uncle anything i just call them by their name i don't think you know a lot of my aunt and uncles which is a good thing <laughs> what do you mean um i mean you know like most of my dad's side of the family but you don't know a lot of my mom's side of the family i know her three sisters right uh yeah i guess the, i mean th- that w- those would be the aunt and uncles like those, like y- yes right I mean, I know all the other cousins or whoever. But, but they're not your aunt and uncle. That's what I'm saying. I would never call them aunt whatever. I would just call them by their first name. All right. Let's just move on from this topic. <laughs> <laughs> this riveting topic. I know. Uh, no, yeah. So Cassie's nephew and my nephew also. Cassie's nephew. Um, <laughs> you could just say our nephew. You're our just, nephew, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah, there you go. The nephew. But Austin's uh, also. <laughs> <laughs> but not the dog's nephew. Um, yes, he came up and stayed with us. When we came back after Christmas, he was here for like a few days from what, like the 26th or 7th through January 3rd or 4th, something like that. How was that? It, it was fine. He raked my leaves. Oh, nice. Uh, but I mean, he mainly just chilled. I don't, I don't think like nothing too exciting. And then that's it. He went back home. January came and went. It was a long month. It was a long month. And... Ooh, I turned 31. Oh yeah. How's that how's, feel? Yeah, how's that feel? What 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 started hurting the next day? The next day. You know, I've really been breaking out on my face, so that pretty much hurt my face has been hurting. Not oh, any really? body parts. Yeah. Nothing to I mean nothing more than, you know, back problems from the weight, from the fatness. But other than that, <laughs> nothing really extreme. You got yourself a Garmin watch, been been exercising? I have not. Oh, okay. That was a good purchase. <laughs> How's that been going, Oz? I know uh, the last time we heard you were living that healthy life. 
Uh, it's still going. I haven't lost any major weight, actually. So You're kind of uh, plateauing? Yeah. So I joined the gym at work. And I've been going to exercise. I use I like going in the morning, but it's not really possible. I mean, they have showers there, but I don't want to shower there and then go to work. So I've been going in, uh, in the afternoons to exercise every day. And it's been going fine. I The past two times I weighed in, I was able to maintain the weight that I had. Because prior to that, like every other time I would weigh in, it would be up and down, up and down, up and down. I think exercising is going to help me hopefully keep going down. And then I'll... I'll probably start adding like weights and stuff because that should help me lose uh, more pounds also. Nice. I, uh, as you know, recently tried to count calories on, on that fitness app. and mm-hmm. How's it uh, going? It's it's okay. I haven't honestly done in the past week, week and a half. And it's, I don't know why, to be honest with you. it's It was tedious, obviously. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's hard to like remember and, and, and to do it and, and sometimes I like the little things like uh, I don't know, like things that I, I feel like are not going to be in the app. I'd like I don't even mess with or things that I don't know the, uh, the exact amount that I'm eating. It's like, well, I, I just wing it. I feel like yeah, you have to I be very specific in that app. That I mean, that's how it is. That's what Austin does. He wings it. Yeah. Like if we go out and eat something that's not on there, like at a, like a like a rest, not, not like a chain restaurant, but. You know, like a mom and pop restaurant, he just has to use his best judgment. Yeah. I should be doing the same thing. I, I have fallen off. I need to every get back single on it, yeah. day. Every single day, I tell myself, "Okay, today is the day. We're gonna count everything out, and then we'll go like out to eat what we're not supposed to." And then I just like, "Okay, tomorrow, <laughs> T- tomorrow's the day I'm gonna start counting everything." <laughs> Are you still logging every day, else? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, yesterday was hard because I ate and drank a lot. And you were so, keeping track of all that? Yeah. So I entered it in this morning. And yeah, I, I mean, I think that's what it is too. Where I haven't been able I haven't been able to not eat or drink a lot one day out of the week. And so even though six out of the seven days I'm under my calorie goal, I have excess calories to spare and I go to sleep and, you know, I have more calories to spare than – uh, that I that I could use that day. There's always like one day where I go overboard on eating and drinking, and uh, that always that's what's keeping me at the weight I'm, I'm at. Like the six days I'm doing fine, I'll probably start losing weight, and then I have that one day and it brings me back up to where I am. So I need to I need I I think I just need to stop. Obviously overeating and over and drinking, but easier said than done, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like if you can't do it for one day and I'm doing it like four days out of the week, there's well, just no hope for me. Another thing, too, hearing hearing y'all's, um, not complaints, but just like what y'all are going through of not knowing or skipping days and putting stuff in, I think it's easier for me to input my food that I eat because I have a very, um, like, what, what am I trying to say? I have a, uh, or the same food. I, I eat the same food every day, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. Your history log comes up. Oh, yeah, constantly. okay. Well, that not sense. even that. Like, on a, on a normal day, Monday through Friday, I have a Coke Zero in the morning. I have a buy drink. I have maybe, like, a bubbly. So that's all easily to, easy to count, right? That Together, that's only 10 calories. And then I have lunch, and Cassie... When she preps the food, she knows she gives me usually like we each split a pound of chicken. So I have half a pound of chicken and then the vegetables we get, it's in a packet. So I scan it. I have half the packet. She has the other half. Or if she makes rice, she measures it out as like half a cup or one cup. So that's all easy to count. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, if I have another bubbly or another buy, they're all easily scannable. And then when we get home, it's the same thing. She cooks whatever, but she measures it out. So I think it's. It's a lot easier for me to count calories because I'm not eating random food. Like most of the food I eat now is the same. It's, it's something that can be uh, measured easily. Yeah, I think Austin has a lot more self control though because I have I've noticed I have zero self control when it comes <laughs> to food, like like pizza, and, and not just well, not just sweets or anything, but it could be it could be something that's I don't know, just a random. I don't know. 
I don't know how to describe it. It could be like a piece of bread or something, and he could easily say no and turn it down. But if there's a hot piece of buttery bread there, I'm not going to just not eat it, you know? Or it's like, I have zero <laughs> self-control. I mean, it's it all depends on what it is. Like, I'm not going to turn down a beer, right? So, like... Yeah. I think if I... I think I just need to cut down on drinking because that's calories alone by itself. Like, the beer... Ooh, the good luck. Long. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then eating with the drinking just adds more calories also. So, like, yeah. What I liked about the app was the integration with the smartwatches. So like you have a Garmin, I have a tick watch, Cassie bought a Garmin. And it's, I think it's cool. Like it's like a game, like you can walk around or do workouts and it adds, uh, what do you call it? Availability to your calories that you can intake. Right. So that, that, that's what, like I saw you doing, I was like, Oh, okay. It's not just you're limited to your daily. You can add to it if you want. You just have to put in the work or track it. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. (laughs) Fun side story. I was I follow Garmin on Instagram, and they posted uh, like a little a video, and I thought it was my watch, and I was like, oh cool, like I, I like my I really like my watch. It's the Garmin Instinct, and so I click on it, and it was like, yeah, you know, you can log your steps, you can log this. I'm like, yeah, I, I, there's so many things you can log on here, and then it was like, you can log your Halo jumps. I was like, what the hell, Halo jumps? Like out of a plane? Yeah, dude. I was like, oh. what? And then it was like, and you can go, you can. Um, if you're ever caught behind enemy lines, you can reset everything and basically self-destruct your watch. I was like, no. what the f-? Yeah, dude. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I look, it's it's not my watch. It's still Garmin, but it's not Instinct. It's a different watch. Oh, crap. But it's it's a Garmin. I forgot what it's called. But it's made for military. And yeah, dude, you can like log your Halo jump and it you can jump and it'll track where you're going and show you like how far off course you are. The self-destruct is cool, too. Like, they put a bomb in your watch? <laughs> no, no, no. It just, like, erases everything. Oh, oh, oh. I thought, I thought you could turn it to, like, into a grenade. It's like, <laughs> behind enemy lines or something. Uh, but, yeah, it, just, it blew my mind. I was like, what? That's How can cool. we do in Halo jumps? Was that the one Cassie got then? No. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't got to beat this uh, to death. But, yeah, uh, we're trying Excellent. to be healthy-ish. Austin has a role it's model last year. It's not working. Austin has a role model. New year came, so, you know. And went. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really need to. So, I have been I have been bidding on, so, the, there's, like, this place called Slap Sale, right? And I was bidding on workout equipment. And I thought I was doing great because it was, like, it's open at two weeks at a time. It's basically old equipment that universities or nonprofit people are getting rid of. And so you can bid and it starts at real low, like $34, $36. And I was like, dude, these are heavy duty machines because they're, you know, they're the type of machines where a lot of people are going to be using them. These are heavy duty machines. And so two weeks would go by and not a single bid. I'm the only one bidding. I'm like, for sure, I'm going to get a $2,000 elliptical for 35 bucks on the day and i've lost three times people get freaking crazy so i was real disappointed i already had a game plan i was going to turn our spare bedroom into a workout (laughs) facility i was going to paint all the walls tear out the carpet put in flooring (laughs) to get i already had a plan to take off of work so i can get austin's truck and load this this big old win into my house like i was so freaking excited and then it didn't happen for me the most disappointed I've ever been in a long time. And that's why Cassie doesn't want to work out, period. Mm-hmm. Because I can't I can't leave work to go work out. By the time I get home, I have to cook dinner. I have to do homework. And then recruitment for me has been is going to start revving up where I'm not going to be home on the weekends. Um, so I literally don't have any time. And if I could do it at home, at night, or in the morning when I get up, something where it's here available to me instead of taking time to go change walking over to the facility doing a workout like i don't have time for that yeah and that was i'm I'm just saying that was very disappointing i just started looking into like brand new machines because ain't nobody got time for this oh we're we're gonna buy a brand new machine i already told austin austin told me uh, the peloton i mean why isn't that in a discussion i'm sorry money bags over here (laughs) No, we're, Cassie and I are not a fan of uh, cycling. We're not a fan of cycling. They have a tread that treadmill though. Yeah, but I'm still like working my way up to the treadmill. Like at the gym mm-hmm. that I go to now, mm. I do right now more elliptical and then a little bit of treadmill. 
I just don't want to re-injure myself. Yeah. So And that's how I started off when we were getting ready for the wedding. I did elliptical for months before I was able to get on the treadmill because yeah. I didn't want to die, you know? Yeah. I'm just trying to get those abs before summer, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we can, I guess, jump ahead. But uh, we all, <laughs> we're all planning <laughs> summer vacations. You guys are planning to go international again, so look out, world. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where y'all going to? Argentina? China? No. <laughs> Never. No and no. Yeah, I was thinking, my, uh, my mom's you got your lime. That. You got your limes and your salt ready for that coronavirus? <laughs> she, because she was like, oh, you know, good thing we went to China when we went to, and not like now. And I was thinking about it, like, what would we, what would we have done if we were going to China this year? And that True. broke out. Cancel, cancel immediately, lose all our money, and be real sad. No, I mean, we, we booked uh, the travel insurance when we went to china so i think we probably would have just yeah canceled the that but see whatever we could keep with what we already paid you know towards it and yeah. go to a different country yeah but uh no this year we're planning on going to uh greece greece that's what it was nice we hear it's the word the word greece is the word oh <laughs> <laughs> but it's <laughs> oh that sucks um tough tough yeah. crowd here <laughs> and then jess and i and uh, her family are planning to go to hawaii uh, in june that's gonna be so exciting yeah we're uh, gonna take the baby so we're trying to like watch all these youtube videos on how to pack and you know the tricks and tips on what to sure. do so uh can i buy her a little a little bathing suit yeah but she's gonna need a, a little, few a little baby suit yeah don't buy it right now obviously because this kid is growing at an abnormal abnormal rate i think <laughs> she's gonna need she some more cancelling headphones. She's she's uh gonna be six months at the end of February and she's already wearing close to nine month clothes. So Wowzers. She uh she likes to eat and uh and yeah. <laughs> summer look out summer. You look out for those podcasts coming after you hear the review of Hawaii and Greece. I saw a snap of yours where she was looking at the pizza, but y'all weren't giving her any. I just I don't understand. <laughs> well, Cassie, you don't feed a child at five months <laughs> a pizza. <laughs> I mean, she could have tasted it. What did I do the other day? The other day, she was we were eating somewhere or something, and I had a piece of bread. It was last weekend at Texas Roadhouse, and I had one of their their, their rolls. And uh, see, no self control. And I put I put the bread up to her mouth just to see what she wanted. Like, as she was gonna go for it, and she just looked at it. She doesn't know what the hell it is. And then I put it on her lips. Like I literally let the bread, the texture of the bread, touch her lips, and she like started gagging. <laughs> <laughs> and then yesterday, uh, her sis- Jessica's sister let her taste applesauce, and same thing, made a face, like, did not like the taste whatsoever. But uh, that's going to be the next step with her. We're going to try to get her to eat some, I don't know, baby mashed something, green beans, peas, Mush. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, next month, and she'll start drinking a little bit of water. And I'm hoping that'll, you know, wean the formula just a little bit, and she'll kind of lose a little bit of weight. Hey. But so y'all are going to baby. y'all are going to Hawaii to celebrate her one year birthday? No, we're going to Hawaii. Uh. <laughs> we're going to Hawaii to Jessica, one of Jessica's longtime friends. Diane's getting married, and and they're living out there. Her and her fiance, who's stationed out there, so uh, they're having a wedding out there, uh, and Jessica's standing in it. So nice. uh, it was a good excuse for everybody to go. So like I said, her mom, dad, her two sisters are going to go, uh, which helps us with the baby. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I'm I gonna par- party it hard that night. I don't know. I don't know. Or the wedding probably. I don't know. Maybe we're all staying in this. We bought a. We rented a condo or what something. So like, Ooh. I feel like we can't get too loud because the baby will be asleep by like eight or nine. Uh. And then the time difference is gonna be a big issue. I just thought, literally thought about that right now. The second I didn't think about that. <laughs> so the baby's gonna be getting sleepy earlier, and then jet lagged on the way back. I don't know. How long is the flight? <sighs> the flight is like f- total travel times like five hours, six hours. Oh, that's not bad. Does that sound right? Oh, maybe that's not right. Maybe it's eight. It's eight hours. Eight hour travel time, including yeah, layovers and stuff. Oh, so yeah, but you're flying. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, Hawaii's only four hours behind us. That's a big difference for a baby. If she's going to bed around nine or ten, she's gonna start getting cranky around five. <laughs> Sure. Mm-hmm. And then if she gets used to that schedule for close to a week, if she does, coming back at 9 or 10, she's not going to be sleepy at all. Right. So we'll figure it out. I don't know. 
just things we're, we're, we're thinking about. Uh, you guys fly a lot. You see a lot of babies on flights. Uh, I want to say a handful, and usually they're fine. I've never had like a crying baby situation on a plane. Yeah. But we hear that they board first, so I don't know how true that is. But uh, we're hoping to get some sort of yeah, little perks. they do mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. the stroller and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, so. she's that, and she, by that time, she still will need a seat to her own, right? No, she? no, okay. no. So she's gonna sit on a uh, our lap, or we have a little baby, the chest carrier, the backpack carrier, where you just pop her in. Mm-hmm. I think she's gonna be in that in front of us, like mm-hmm. in a carrier, just chilling. Okay. And that's the thing too. I don't know what her personality like is on a plane. You know, that she could hate it. The you know the air pressure and stuff. She could. She, I, she, I'm not, she I know for a fact she doesn't like sitting down for long periods of time. So we're gonna have to walk up and down the aisle. Or I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Do you, did I say air pressure? I mean, that's not to scare anybody, but I saw a video. It was like on a, a plane disaster, mm-hmm. and um, it was a plane, and it was in Hawaii too. It was a Hawaii plane. Oh yeah, not now, to scare now, anybody though. <laughs> now I think about it, and um, it was a pl- it was one of those planes that it just goes like to the islands. I mean, it was a big plane, but it was only used to go in between the islands, right? And it was, I think, Aloha Air. The, the plane company doesn't exist anymore, and. It was flying to one like in between the islands, and it had, you know, however many people on the plane, 100, 200 people, and from behind the cockpit, like to midway of the plane, the whole top plane just like p- pulled off, like broke off. What the hell? And so, like one minute people were just sitting there, and the next minute they heard like a loud pop, and then if you were in that front part, uh, you saw like the sky, like you saw everything, like it was just open, like a convertible. <laughs> and um, that's terrible. Yeah, the one of the flight attendants died. Like she got sucked out, like because she, she obviously she wasn't, and you know she was going up and down with the cart for drinks, and they never found her body. Like she just flew out of the plane. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, but everyone else in the plane uh, survived. Like, you know, uh, the people in the front that were closest to where it broke off, I think like some of the people got scratches on their face from like all the wires and everything hitting their face, but everyone else was like. I mean, it was scary. They, I'm sure, like, ears popped and everything, but like, everyone else was fine. Everyone, everyone else survived. But it was just like a crazy thing of, and they think the issue, or what caused it, um, was the pressuring and like depressuring and repressuring the the airplane because it would it would do like these little flights filled with like 200 people, you know, like 10, 12 times a day, like just going back and forth to the islands, and so that's a lot of pressuring repressuring you know on the plane that it just happened to the wear and tear basically destroyed the plane before it should have based on you know all these other numbers of miles flown and all that stuff damn that's crazy but uh yeah maybe i'll up my life insurance or something before we leave <laughs> Jeez, you scared him babe. um no no, no that, that, that doesn't that's a happen freak ever accident. Again. Yeah, yeah it's that, a freak accident I totally they know get it. like all companies know now, like, you don't just look at how many miles the plane has flown. Like, that's not enough. Like, you have to take in a lot of factors. The pressuring, repressuring. Again, that plane was only in Hawaii, so it has to deal with all the humidity there, the rain, the saltiness of the ocean. Like, you know, it's just a lot of wear and tear on the plane that a plane that's flying from, you know, here to New York doesn't have to deal with because they only make that flight maybe once or twice a day or something, you know? Were y'all scared when y'all flew to China? Over being over water that long, so we weren't over water. Uh, really? Yeah, the quickest way to get from we flew from Houston to Beijing is not to go over the water because that would take too long to fly over the Pacific. So basically, our flight pattern took us from Houston and shot us all the way up to Alaska, and then from Alaska, we basically just hugged the coast of Alaska all the way around up, and then crossed into Russia. And then hug the coast of Russia all the way down um, mm. until we have be- until we hit Beijing. Because that was the quickest way, or because that's maybe the safest thing. Uh, I think both. I think it's quicker because oh. on a, in a obviously when you're on a, when you're looking at a globe, like a straight line is usually not the fastest way to get someplace. So it, it's probably faster to go the way we did to make like a little U. But also, yeah, I I think I remember reading that the planes try to avoid if they can flying over water. Uh, I guess for that reason, like if anything was to happen, like it, it's easier to find the plane and everything. Obviously, we crash down in it. We're closer to land or whatever. Either way, I mean, when we were flying over Russia, like 
I mean, that's a remote ass place. I'm sure like no one's out there, but it would still be easier to find the plane and what happened if we crashed, you know, in the on middle land. of nowhere versus water. Yeah. Yeah. Did you also see that plane? Now I'm not just bringing up topics, but like uh, <laughs> that plane in LA that dumped the gasoline all over those kids? No. Yeah. Uh, I think it was, was it, I don't know. I don't want to say a plane company because I don't know. I, might have been United. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> They, uh, Insert plane company. Go on. <laughs> the plane took off from L.A. and was going to fly to, I don't even remember where. And um, they had just fueled up. And the terminal was like, hey, do you want, do you need to uh, dump any fuel out? Because that's a normal thing planes do, right? Like it, they sometimes just need to dump fuel out. Um, and the pilot was like, no, we're good. And so they're like, okay. And then I think there was an issue with the plane that they were coming, they had to turn back around. And for some reason, the pilot like dumped uh, fuel out, but he was too low to the ground and it like splashed on a bunch of kids at an elementary school. I think like 60 something people got doused in it. Uh, everyone was like fine, but they complained obviously of uh, their lungs burning from the, from inhaling it and then skin irritations from it being on the skin. Yeah. Um, but it was just a crazy thing of like, you said you didn't need to and then you did. Like, it's so weird. Again, freak accident. Yeah, I, don't, I never followed up to hear like what was the excuse or why he did that. Because again, planes dump fuel all the time, but they're usually high enough that it, it disintegrates by the time before it gets to those you know. poor children. Yeah, that's just a weird thing to be like outside and just have gasoline dropped on you. It's gonna yeah. scar them for life. Nah. Every gas station, they just scream. <laughs> Keeping up with this whole update thing, I thought that we should <clears throat> try a little. Oh, we also went to Houston. What's that? I said we also went to Houston. <laughs> when? During the break. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was going to say, uh, I was going to do a rapid, uh, let's do a, like a rapid fire thing. Early December, what do we do? You know, every, anyone could speak. We'll go to Christmas, you know, what we got for Christmas. If you want to mention anything, New Year's plans, just things like that. Just real quick, just things like, things we can, uh, things that you can think of. All right. So, early December, uh, Jessica and I celebrated our one-year anniversary Yay. Uh, Yay. So it was a small milestone. We made it. Uh, we had some brunch that day. Ooh, it was a uh, hard year. <laughs> uh, what about you guys? Anything else happened early December-ish before Christmas time? Yeah, I made some bomb-ass cookies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, for your work, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys go out. You guys I, go hard. Cassie helped me put up lights this year uh, for Christmas, and we wrapped one of our trees with lights. Looked really cool. Uh, like I'm excited to do it again next year. Ask uh, Ask Austin how long it took to take these said lights down. <laughs> I will not ask him because he's, you're going to ask me that, and we don't need to get into that. Dude, did oh, you see? Okay. Did you see? Uh, was it on Twitter that someone popped into Anthem, and they still have their Christmas lights on? And what do you mean popped into Anthem? The game. The, the game yeah. B- b- what, what Christmas lights? Oh, Anthem still has it in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're not even updating it anymore. Yeah, that game was a bust. The final um, cats were really cool, though. Yeah. Cassie, anything? Early December-ish? Mm, no. Okay. I Christmas. switched over. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just, wow. What else? what else? Tell me. I switched over and got a OnePlus phone. Oh, yeah. Austin uh, finally made his decision. It was uh, a couple months coming. He got the OnePlus T? No, 7 Pro. 7 Pro? Yeah. T? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I checked it out. Uh, it's it's pretty badass. Yeah. Uh, it's slim. Well, not anymore. It got the fat ass because I bought a battery case for it. Oh, hold it up to the camera real quick. Let me see. The, oh. Can we not talk about his phone? I've been hearing Cassie, about his phone for months. I'm looking at the ceiling again. Let me see Austin's camera case. There, Austin oh, here we go. See it? Here, see it? Oh, hey, God, dude. That's huge. Right? But yeah. uh, I, I, I like it. Um, okay, so moving on to Christmas here. Uh, your Your top gifts go. The, the phone was my top gift. Cassie, go. Do I have a top gift? I don't know. I mean, are we skipping the baptism? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was also oh. early December, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, we, I mean, we can skip it. Yes, uh, I guess uh, Austin <laughs> brought it up. Uh, Juliet got baptized. Uh, Austin is the godfather. I'm loving this rapid fire. <laughs> Austin is the godfather. Just uh, more more of a, an excuse to give the baby presents. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that was a good time. We went to our uh, childhood school stomping grounds. Yeah. I mean, what else did they really talk about? No, no, she, no, she got she got baptized. She got baptized. 
Austin got a one plus T, one plus Pro. T. <laughs> Seven T plus Pro two. I don't know. Uh, All right, Chris, let's go. I got Jessica some uh, a bed set, so you know, adulting. Uh, <laughs> Jessica got me a router. So nice. Cassie, no presents. Anything stuck out this year? Um, not that I can think of. Our family was so generous. We took home so much stuff. Just a little bit of everything, like makeup and clothes. I got some nice socks. <laughs> Adult team? Just, yeah. Well, they're superhero socks. But yes. Oh, very well. Uh, New Year's. You guys spent it up in Fort Worth. How was that? Yes. Good. We didn't do anything. We just chilled here. Did y'all stay up till midnight? Yeah. Uh, we were at our friend Marshall's house. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a little shindig. Showed up a little late. Uh, it was fun. The baby was asleep the whole time. Oh. So she missed it, but she'll be there next year. <laughs> uh, moving right along here. Early January uh, looks like early January. I went deer hunting. Uh, shot a deer. Shot uh, a little doe. Sorry if that offends anybody, but it was fun. <laughs> Bambi's mom. <laughs> Just kidding. You see, they were making Bambi. Remaking Bambi. Yeah, they're doing a live action. Oh, okay. John's going to be the... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Julia could watch it if she wants, but she has to understand that this is, like, our life. Like, we're going to go hunting. <laughs> so as long as she doesn't get attached. This is our life. Like, <laughs> John and Jessica are fucking bush people out in Alaska. This is our life. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, had to, we, had a lot deer, we had a lot of deer meat. Uh... Oh, man. <laughs> John is craven. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be hunting Spider-Man next. Uh, what else for you guys? That's, that's pretty much all I got. We're, we're here in February now. We went down to Houston for a birthday party. Oh, yeah, a little travel time? Mm-hmm. How was that? How was your beer pong? Oh, yeah, it was beer pong. Uh, it was good. I, again, I texted you as it was happening. I was surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. <laughs> Uh, but no, it was good. We went down there, uh, partied up for a one-year-old birthday, and then we played like what four hours of Switch. Oh my gosh, I think I played like nine hours of Switch. Oh we crap! So, we played so much Nintendo. <laughs> it was great. Our friend Leslie, um, her baby had a birthday party, so we went and stayed with them the night. It was nice to see their home and. The birthday was awesome, and she did so good at the decorations. The decorations were awesome. Oh, and so were the, I mean, I, so were the, I didn't eat anything, but the, the little snacks to, that they had on the table were really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, yeah, we played Nintendo. Nice. I got, I got hosed on the Mario Party. I should have won, but whatever. <laughs> um. So I think what we should do is if we have any pictures from any of this stuff that we wouldn't mind posting, let's just post them. Nothing in order, just what we've been doing the past two months. Uh, so look out for that on our Instagram. Um, Insta. IG, the gram. Speaking of the gram, side note, this episode is sponsored by a brand new uh, independent company, Beers and Bark or Uh-oh. Barks and Beer. What are they called, Austin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beers and Barks. There. Beers and Bark, is that what it is? Beers and Barks. Yeah, Beers and Barks, yeah. So uh, Austin has branched out, and uh, if you want to learn about some different types of beers, go ahead and give his IG a follow. Mainly the Ooh, and also, area. if you have any pictures of dogs, he's uh, lacking on that Barks part. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just send him pictures of your dog. I heard it was because Giuseppe wasn't camera ready. But, but now uh, he is. I hear he is, so I hear he's going to be making a lot of appearances. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll post some stuff to our Instagram, so check that out. Uh, any other topics before we continue on here? Uh, about updating people? No, I think that's it. Okay. Be good. So one thing that I thought we could talk about towards the end of this was, uh, you know, it was a new year and we, everyone was making a big deal, not a big deal, but bringing up the fact that it was the end of a decade. Here's to the next decade, things like that. Um, I thought I would ask what decade would y'all have wanted to live in if y'all had any, the opportunity to do it? Could it be, (laughs) could it be in the future? Yeah, why not? I wouldn't want to live in the past. Why not? The women were treated what awful. Pa- what decade awful. in the past would you want to l- live in? Never. None. <laughs> None? No. No. Women didn't have rights. Women still don't get paid as much. They were uh, No. I'd be, you would, I would have to be a homemaker. That sounds awful. No, thank you. I mean, I have to be that now, but you know. 
<laughs> at least they can work. She can say no if she wanted to. People didn't have air condition. I mean, I don't know how far back you're going, but yeah. AC for the love of God. There was AC <laughs> in back in the day. No, I'm saying depending on how far back you're going. We're not going back to like the Stone Age unless you wanted to live then. I'll go no. shake Jesus' hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go forward. Forward into the future. Me too. <laughs> Interesting. When would you want to go back, John? I was just thinking of like a, a, a fun decade. Like, I mean, I'm not thinking like, I guess you guys were thinking really like technical, but I was thinking like. A you're fun... too brown to go that far back. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're, no, you're, you're right, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've always liked the, the 50s. I thought that'd be fun. But you're right, you know, being an Hispanic is probably not ideal. So yeah, like 20, 20 years in the future. That's where I would want to go. You're 50 years old? No, I'd still be this age, but I'd just travel back. <laughs> travel forward. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, how's time works? Yeah, that's how time works. Just forward. I, I mean, we're, we're picking... If we had to pick, like, a past decade, I would just trade, like, I don't know, 80s. Mm. I wouldn't want to go too far back. Why the 80s? Because you uh, don't want to go too far back. <laughs> because what? Because you don't want to go too far back. Yeah, it just seems like a, a fun decade, I guess. Mm. But okay. it, if I had to pick, I would, I would say forward to go forward. So you would visit. He doesn't know. He didn't think about this question. <laughs> I didn't think you guys would bring up the future, <laughs> to be honest with you, and I was thinking about that. But so you would have said 50s. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. And, and, and the question was, which, which decade would you have wanted to live in? Would you have wished you lived in? Like, not visit, like a time machine. Oh, okay. 80s. <laughs> Cass, he's still 90s? the future. 90s, I guess? You lived the 90s, Cass. Yeah, you, you lived the 90s. Oh. She's like, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> she was like, yeah, nine, uh, 1890. <laughs> no. All right. I mean, we don't got to you know, keep going with this. I just thought it'd be interesting to see which one and why. And it looks I mean, like... it uh, wasn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we can put a poll up on, on Twitter. See what people... See which decade. The future 80s or the 50s? Yeah. All right. The future. Future's cast. gonna win. <laughs> the future in twenty years. Put, so what would, would that be? The the twenty forties in yeah twenty forties. Jeez, that sounds awful. <laughs> yeah, twenty forties. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. We're, we're gonna do it then. We'll see what happens. Um. Well, that's all I got. No, what else do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the XFL. Right. Mm-hmm. Where you, where you guys that. will be today, huh? Yeah. How do I how do we skip that? I <laughs> this topic. Cassie, this is your chance to like get in on the ground floor of fantasy. Nobody knows who these guys are. Mm-hmm. You know, no, there's thank there'd you. be a whole new point system. No, thank you. Just, I mean, I'm just saying. No. No. You can so be you're not excited at all, Cassie, for no. this. No. <sighs> Football just ended. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to end so I can have some time to myself. Now they bring up another freaking league that happens to be right in my backyard that also don't want to get to go see. The NFL is also in our do. backyard. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. But you don't you don't cheer on the Dallas Cowboys. No, we cheer on the better Dallas team. We cheer on anybody. The what? We cheer on the better Dallas team, the Renegades. <laughs> Undefeated right now. Ah. Yeah, so XFL. How many teams are in this league anyway? You know, I'm... Nine. Nine, you said? That doesn't make sense. I'm I'm guessing. Oh, I was like, that's not correct. It's not 32, obviously. It's like no, 10 no, no. or 12 or something. I have it here. I said nine. <laughs> There's eight. Only eight? Oh. Yeah. What do I mean only? I mean, it's not a lot of teams. No, but I mean, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. No, there's eight. Yeah, eight. Um... Yeah, so I mean, I don't know too much about the the rules and stuff. It's a brand or it's a re what do you call it? It's coming back. Reboot. Reboot. Revival. Revitalization. Uh, Redo. Yeah, there's there's eight teams, and there's one here in Dallas. The rules, for the most part, they seem okay. Like the kickoffs change. Like they can't run until the person actually catches the ball. Uh, you only need one foot in. For. Completion. completion yeah i saw that there's no extra point or a uh, field goal extra point yeah you have to run a play yeah you either run a play from the one yard line the five yard line or the 10 yard line or no is it one two and five actually might be one two and five something like that and you get one point two points or three points depending how far you're out when you run the play 
um, pretty much after each like big play, and even at halftime, they're interviewing the players right after the play, or they're in the locker room listening to what the coaches are saying. Yeah, you can hear the plays, right, Call, being called mm-hmm. offensively and defensively mm-hmm. as they're being called. Um, all the betting lines are like right there on the screen to view. Interesting. I I think I texted you yesterday that interesting is some. <laughs> Go on. Before the kickoff of the first game, the XFL had already made more in revenue than the AAF did its entire run back when that was a thing, what, last year? And the AAF was live for, what, eight, nine weeks, ten weeks? Yeah. <laughs> so that's crazy. Not even that long. Wasn't it like six weeks? It was something, but yeah. It, it made more money than all that, which is crazy. Which, I mean, I don't, I don't know. That, that league was... Just didn't have enough money to survive. This one seems to have, hopefully, enough money to survive. But if they're yeah. stream, if they're being shown on ESPN, they have some sort of deal with ESPN. So I feel like that's also a big backing. Well, they have, they have, they're being on ESPN, ABC, Fox, like, yeah, and they had like actual people, uh, like commentating, like the actual commentators that were there for yesterday's games are like you know big names. Really, I did, so yeah. Uh, yesterday was the the first. The opening kickoff season for the season. Yeah. Uh, There's two games yesterday. There's two games today. And you guys are actually going to be in attendance for the first Dallas Renegades game. Yes. So, uh, awesome. We'll post some pictures on that. Uh, yeah. If we don't get rained out. Nah, I won't get rained out. No. I'm sorry. Do you live in North Texas? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're saying that the tornado in hell is coming like around 10 p.m. So, we should be back by then. Tornado? Yeah. What? A tornado in hell? As in my life is in risk. We might have severe weather tonight with potential tornadoes and hail. But oh, hell. Now John already said we're going to be okay, so. I thought you were referring to, like, the renegades, like, the tornadoes, like, that's the saying, like, the tornado's coming, or I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, weather, weather. Like, legit oh, but, weather. Got but it. the uh, the hashtag is raise hell. See, that's, I, that's why I was confused, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I got you, I got you. So, yeah. Take lots of pictures. Post the best ones only. I don't see no crappy ones. Uh, Dude, that is a thing, having the, the OnePlus phone. Like, <laughs> what was that noise? I think it was Cassie. She got up from the mic, and she still heard you and said, whoa. Oh. Uh, I said, oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the OnePlus does not have a good a camera as the Pixel. And, uh, because of software or the actual hardware? I think it's because of actual hardware. Interesting. Again, the OnePlus is only like five hundred dollars, so. That's... But can't you zoom in further with that? Oh yeah. Third? That's what I'm saying. So if you're high up or wherever you're sitting, you should at least be able to get a clearer zoomed in picture versus the Pixel. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. But if you're comparing, like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I, I just never realized. I mean, I knew the Pixel obviously had like the has the best camera, but I didn't realize how much. Uh, I guess two things. I didn't realize how much the Pixel camera helps people like me. And by people like me, I mean I'm not good at taking photos. <laughs> so it it really helps. Sucks, bro. Yeah. Traitor. Like my hand's not steady enough. All right. Well, what do you think? That's enough? A little, little we dipped our toes back into this routine, hopefully. Is that it? Is there anything else you'd like to talk about, Cass? Mm, Anybody. I had I had wanted to discuss um what was that topic I wanted to discuss, babe? Which one? <laughs> about sorry i'm chewing gum about um Why chewing gum? i don't want to say inappropriate conversation oh yeah but um <laughs> what, how am i putting this <clears throat> how would you describe this topic john and when you're at work what what would be something you you wouldn't discuss like out loud in front of other people. Cocaine. I mean... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sure. No, uh, I don't understand the question. There's a lot yeah, of I mean, you, you have to give, a, you have to give the example, Cassie. Like... So, I don't know if it's just that I'm a private person. I mean, right? I'm just talking on the air, so it's like, whatever. No, but if I'm like... <laughs> I don't talk about my... I don't air my business out, I guess, is what I would say. Um, and if I do, it's probably in the privacy of my own home or car uh, where no one else is listening. But... Recently, we had lunch and there was um, some other people who were talking out loud about subject that I would never talk about in front of somebody else. And I'm thinking, this is not appropriate lunch conversation and not anything like 
bad or like dirty or illegal, but just things that I wouldn't say out loud in front of others. And it was, it just caught me by surprise that it, they just, I mean, they went on for about 45 minutes maybe of just things that I would never talk about. So two things. Maybe it's just me for eavesdropping. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't, I was not listening to the conversation until they said one thing and I was like, what? And again, I don't know, I don't know what we're going to get into specifics, but it was just like a, they said something and then that's what caught my ear. And then I feel like you have that, to say what they said because people are going to want to know, including me. So, so they're talking and I wasn't really paying attention. I, 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 I could hear them, but I really wasn't paying attention. And then the person said something about how so-and-so passed away. And I was like, oh, this happened recently. Like, I thought they were doing stuff. Um, I thought they were getting ready for, like, a death or, like, they were just preparing, like, you know, for the eventuality. Like, you know, you should have your affairs and order, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, that like the, the person, like, just died. And the way that she was talking about it beforehand, it didn't make it seem like the person had just passed away. It made it seem like they were just prepping for it. Um, so when it, that happened that conversation became what it was and then other people started just airing out like the the business like you know like paying for it and giving permission and just like things that you would that you would not talk about out loud was she on the phone she also made a phone call i feel like people like that uh want people to hear and they want the attention and they want people to ask about it in it was opinion. just so uncomfortable for me I get to that. where I was like, oh, crap. I think there's and people I felt bad who want, like, all the there, it was. I don't know how big the space is, but it was a space that only fits two tables and four chairs. And they were at one table and we were at the other. So I don't know how to measure that, but just imagine two tables. And you're that close to somebody and they're talking about things like that where I didn't felt uncomfortable and I felt bad for listening but it's so close and she's talking about it out loud. It's like, how can someone not hear that? Yeah. I mean, I think if you had And then any... I thought, Sorry. when I thought, oh, maybe it's just her. But then the other person started talking about, not, in, again, inappropriate is the wrong word, but things that I would not say private, out loud. And I right? was... It should be private. Sure. Sure. And so then he, this person is going on a, you know, ramble about stuff where I'm like, I don't think I would have said that out loud or in front of others. Yeah, I get what you're saying, and yeah, I, I I guess I'm finally understanding what you're saying about it's not inappropriate. It's just I wouldn't I don't know complaining or bitching about stuff like that at work. Right, it's a time and place that sh- that wasn't the place. There's some sort of etiquette, unspoken rules. Be you know being polite like that. And it wasn't even like gossip or anything. It was stuff that's happened in their personal life where it's like, oh man, I felt bad for these people. I obviously couldn't say anything because then obviously, obviously I'm eavesdropping if I'm like, I'm sorry about blah, 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 blah. So it was just very uncomfortable. And I'm thinking, do people do that everywhere? Or is it just me as a private person not n- not choosing to talk out loud like that? I don't know. The it was fir- just strange for me. First thing I thought of was people wanting attention. Now that you say that, like when you said that earlier, I was like, oh, that I can see that person being like that. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't. I didn't think about that until you said that. But I can see that person being like that. But to answer your question, I think the uh, common courtesy thing is not to do that. So I think it takes a certain type of someone to to act to say those things out loud or to say anything out loud that shouldn't be said like that. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just being polite, and I don't think you're polite when you when you say stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, all right, Cassie ending it on downer again. I'm sorry. (laughs) All right. Well, I guess we will end it right there. Thanks for hanging out with us here. Thanks again to our sponsor at Beers and Barks. Follow them on Instagram. AKA follow him. But till next time, we have been at Third Life Podcast. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Follow us to see exactly how we're surviving our third life crisis. If you like this episode, you're a special type of person. Make sure to subscribe, (laughs) rate, and leave a review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to the episode. Again, to find us, just search 3RD Life Podcast or head over to our website on... I don't have it up. We don't have a website. 
Well, I mean, you could go to the oh, Podbean. Uh, Podbean. Yeah. Again, to find us, just search 3RD Life Podcast and make sure to follow our individual accounts. We are at jmike2689 for John, at castle underscore Cassie for Cassie, and I am at the Austin Luna. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully, we get the ball rolling on this again, but until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, guys. See ya. It's all John and Cassie's fault. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>